Many of us believe that all the dimensions on the actually produced parts are measured from the datums. But what if I tell you that datums are theoretical in nature and if it is true, can we measure dimensions from references which is theoretical? Confused? No worries at all. In this video, we are going to deep dive into this topic in details and remove this confusion once and for all. If you get value out of this video, consider helping us by subscribing and sharing the channel with your mechanical engineering friends. Let's begin this video with simple definition of datum. A datum is a theoretical reference plane, point or axis from which dimensions are measured. Datum planes, points or axis are simulated by using inspection equipments. A datum is shown on the engineering drawing by using datum feature symbol as shown here, where the name of the datum is shown by alphabets in the datum letter box and this datum letter box is connected to datum feature with the triangular box. This triangular base is generally filled. As mentioned earlier, datums are theoretical in nature. That means they are shown only in the engineering drawings. Datums could be plane, axis or points. A planar surface helps us to get planar datum. Whereas planar feature of size like width of this block or width of the slot helps us to get datum center plane. Because these two faces are parallel, we can get datum center plane by using this width. Diametrical feature of size help us to get datum axis. Whereas spherical feature of size helps us to get datum point. Datums are established by using datum features. A datum feature is a feature on the part that contacts datums and they exist on the part in consideration. Now note that we can't use any random feature as a datum feature. It has to meet three criteria to be right choice to be selected as a datum feature on the part. The first criteria is datum feature must be functional. Now for example, we have two parallel faces here and I can use any of this parallel face as my primary datum and I can establish datum plane. But if I look at the function of this part, I have to check how this part is assembled on the next level part. So if you see here, the top face is touching the next level part and not the bottom face. So instead of using bottom face or this datum feature, I should use the upper face or this datum feature to establish my datum plane. The second criteria is it must be easily accessible. So just imagine a cutout or a hole and this cutout is little bit deep and we are using bottom diameter of this cutout to be my datum feature. Now if that is the case, can an inspection probe enter at the bottom of this hole? If the inspection probe cannot enter at the bottom, that means I will not be able to establish that as my datum. So the criteria is very simple. The datum feature I'm going to use should be easily accessible to the inspection equipments. The third criteria is it must be sufficient size to stabilize for measurement of the dimension. Suppose you are using very small flat face as your datum. Then will that small flat face stabilize the part for the inspection? If it is not able to stabilize the part for the inspection, then all our dimensions will come wrong. So whenever I'm using some flat face or any datum feature for establishing datum, it should be of a sufficient size. Then only the part will stabilize for the inspection. So if datum feature is meeting all these three criteria, that means it must be functional, easily accessible. And if it is of sufficient size, then I can use that as a datum feature to establish my datums. Now, before we move forward, let me quickly introduce you to the signature mechanical design mentorship programs at Design Kings. You can transform your mechanical design career to the next level of success by mastering most in demand design domains and core design skills in depth. Now, what's up to us? on these numbers or visit our website www.designgeeks.com to know more about these mentorship programs. If you are looking for the corporate training programs in online or offline modes, you can WhatsApp to us on these numbers to discuss your requirements. Now let's move forward and understand more about simulated datums. Because datums are theoretical and we can't measure dimensions on the actual part from the datums, we need some physical datum feature simulator to simulate the 
datum. So what is the physical datum feature simulator? A physical datum feature simulator is an inspection equipment such as surface plate or gauge surfaces that restricts the movement of the datum feature and establishes the datums. Like here we have this part. The bottom face of this part is datum feature. And we are using this planar surface to establish primary datum A. As we studied earlier, this face on the engineering drawing is theoretical in nature. And that means datum plane A is theoretical in nature. And we cannot measure these dimensions of this part from the theoretical reference. So we need to keep this part on the surface plate. And I can use this surface as a reference to measure the part dimensions. That means the surface plate acts as a physical datum feature simulator to simulate the datum plane A. So simulated datums are used to measure actual dimensions on the part. A simulated datum is derived from the physical datum feature simulator and used to measure actual dimensions from it. We have already studied that physical datum feature simulator is nothing but surface plate or gauge elements. Now if you see here, we have taken a cross section of the part and a surface plate. Now it looks complex but it's very easy to understand. If you see here, this is actually produced part and bottom face of this part has irregularities. That means it's not a perfect. So actually produced part will have certain variations into the surface. But in the engineering drawing, I'm using this bottom face as a primary datum A. That means datum plane A, which is theoretical in nature, is going to touch top three points of these variations into the part and then it is going to establish datum plane A. But is it possible to check all top three points on the actually produced part and then establish datum plane A? No, it's not possible. And that's why datum plane A is theoretical in nature. Now, if I want to measure the dimensions on this part, I have to keep this part on the surface plate. Now, this is the cross section of the surface plate. Now, surface plate, even though it is a datum feature simulator, it will also have certain variations. The variations will not be very big because the processes used to manufacture the surface plates are very refined process, but still it will have certain variations. And we are going to use this face to establish my simulated datum plane. That means I'm going to keep my height gauge on this face and then I'm going to measure the heights of the part. So the part will be placed on the surface plate, height gauge will be placed on the surface plate and from this simulated datum plane A which is simulated by using physical datum feature simulator is used to measure all the dimensions. So that is how simulated datum is used to measure actual dimensions. Now I'm going to end this video with very useful GDNT tip. So when surface is used as a primary datum feature, a flatness control should be applied to the surface. Now generally, if the surface is bigger, we must control the form variations. Now we already know that rule one controls the form itself. That means the size tolerance which is used to control this surface already controls the form. But that may not be sufficient if we are using that as a primary datum. So we have to refine that tolerance. And to refine that tolerance, we have to use flatness control. So that means flatness control tolerance value must be lesser than size tolerance value. And this is going to help us improve stability of the part on its datum feature simulator. When this part will be placed on a datum feature simulator, the part will be more stable because the form variation is controlled tighter. So folks, hopefully now you might have got a good clarity around the concept of datum and simulated datum and how physical datum feature simulator establishes simulated datum play. So thank you for watching and learning.